Nick Gallo, KCThunder.com. Um, another double-digit comeback win by you guys, another win uh, when you're trailing at halftime. Um, what do you continue to see from this group on a nightly basis? Uh, yeah, I thought we did a really good job in the second half, um, defensively especially. thought we really tightened the screws. Um, it wasn't our worst defensive half from a numbers standpoint, but I just thought our engagement could have been sharper. And even to start the third, it wasn't great. And then that group, uh, about a couple minutes into the third and through the rest of the third, and then the group that started the fourth, um, that really changed the game. And it was really one through, you know, 11 or 12 guys there. And, you know, Shea obviously had a, had a loud night, but two plays inside the final two minutes, he comes up with loose defensive rebounds. Um, just your thoughts on kind of um, all the other ways that he impacts the game that maybe aren't quite as loud. Yeah, we scrapped on the glass uh, in the second half. I thought he was great. Robin Snurl did a great job on Capella. Uh, even on plays, he didn't come up with the ball. Lou rebounded, Josh, Jalen. So uh, we did it with five on that. And um, it was huge because we were getting them to miss. And in the first half, you know, they only had six, I think, at halftime. But they were getting second chance points on that. They were extending possessions for them. Paris Lawson, OKCThunder.com. Ooze came off the bench and, and provided 15 points for you guys. Well, what did you see from him and kind of the lift that he brought to the group? Yeah, I thought, you know, he was really good in the first half, um, you know, and the second half. That, like I said, that group, um, I think it was him, Poku, uh, Isaiah, Shea, Aaron Wiggins, and then Muskie subbed in. You know, those guys really changed the game. We were down uh, and had a hard time stabilizing the game, and they, they got the thing back into striking distance. And then that, that next group that came in to start the fourth really did a good job. Mark, you guys were 15 of 15 from the foul line there in the fourth quarter, just obviously talk about how big that is in, in a close game yeah they kept scoring you know and they were they were kind of bombing shots in you know some of the scores were you know we did a good job and they just made a shot and so you know when that's happening you've got to protect the ball and you've got to um, make free throws I thought that was an area where we could have improved in the Minnesota game down the stretch uh, was just kind of our our poise in that situation and I thought we were better at it tonight then Shea by himself was 15 of 15 from the foul line in the second half after not attempting a free throw in the first half. Like, is it, on a night where he is maybe not as efficient as usual, does that just kind of show his growth, just how he's able to manufacture those points at the line? Yeah, I think that's a, the sign of a good player, you know, is, is there's like kind of a reliable source of offense. And I think it's a sign of a good team. And I would extend that out to our team. We've We've found ways to get easy baskets in transition and offensive glass um, with our cutting. Um, and we're just kind of starting to, you know, accumulate some of those easy plays that changes your offense. And I think, you know, that's a, a trait of a good offense and a good player. He's obviously a really good player. And, and to next first question and talking about the group that played there to start the fourth, did it kind of remind you of two nights ago? I mean, the game followed a similar script. Yeah, you know, I think I give him credit tonight because I subbed some of them early and then in the third, and then um, Trey, I didn't play in the third, you know, and they did a really good job of just kind of turning the page, getting back their feet back on the ground uh, and getting very present. And they opened up a, you know, seven or nine point lead for us in midway through the fourth, um, you know, and that's important. You know, we got to be good in all 48 and uh, that group is excellent. Uh, Coach, these games by Shea are becoming rather routine. Uh, is that the next, is that the, the, the trademark of a player taking the next step from being very good to potentially being great? Um, yeah, I mean, he's a, he's a great young player. Um, he's, he's made the steps continuously. You know, this isn't just this year. He's improved every year he's been in the league. Uh, it's a testament to his humility. You know, he looks in the mirror on how he has to improve, and then he works at it. Um, but it's also a testament to the team. You know, like, this is a... It's not just him. You know, we've got uh, a whole roster that we're excited about uh, that he enhances and that enhance him. And, you know, we think we're building something where the, the whole is better than the sum of the parts. He's obviously a huge part of that. Um, but it's not limited to him either. Are you starting to feel more and more comfortable with your bench? As you said, 1 through 11 tonight had a factor in this game. Um, I always have been comfortable. You know, I, we believe in these guys. It's not going to be perfect every night. But... Um, they did a great job tonight, you know, being ready. And even the guys, you know, Isaiah Joe, I give him credit. He hasn't played in a couple games. Wiggins hasn't played in a couple games. And we don't win the game without those guys in the third quarter. Like I said, that group is really, that, that changed the game when that group went in there and kind of got the game back under control.